Click on the Stitch Patterns bookmark to work with stitch patterns. You can edit an existing stitch pattern by double clicking on it. Or, you can create a new stitch pattern by clicking on the New Stitch Pattern bookmark. This is the image conversion page. If you are not editing a pre-existing stitch pattern, you may load an image to work with by clicking on the Load Image button. Reference image Stitch pattern You may enlarge or reduce the view of the stitch pattern with the magnifier. This does not change the number of stitches or rows of the stitch pattern. You can change the colors of individual stitches by clicking on them. Each click rotates the stitch to the next color in the sequence. Journal 6 makes certain assumptions about how you want to convert the image into a stitch pattern. You can change how the conversion is done by changing image conversion settings. Let's try some of these settings now. We will click the Made Stitch Pattern button to see the new conversion settings take effect. Stipple Mode Hatch Mode You may choose between 2 to 4 colors for your stitch patterns. There are many ways to change colors for your stitch pattern. Use the Suggest Color buttons to allow Journal 6 to choose the colors for your stitch pattern. You may also choose colors yourself from the reference image. First highlight the color you wish to change and then click in the reference image. Match mode. You can also choose colors using the color dialog. As you can see not all color combinations results in pleasing stitch patterns. Let's let Journal 6 choose. You can also transform your stitch patterns with the turn, flip, and mirror check boxes.
You can change the size of your stitch pattern by changing the values in the stitches and rows fields. Once you have a stitch pattern you like, you might want to see how it would look knitted with different colors. Select new colors and click the change colors only button. In order to judge how the stitch pattern will look when knitted in your gauge, change the aspect field. A value of 1 represents a perfectly square stitch. The value greater than 1 indicates a gauge where the stitch is shorter than it is wide. The value less than 1 indicates a stitch that is longer than it is wide. To calculate from your swatch, measure a 40 stitch by 40 row sample and divide the width by the length. Once you are done converting your image into a stitch pattern, you can click on the sketchbook to further embellish your stitch pattern. When you are done designing your stitch pattern, either click Add to Stitch Patterns to add a new stitch pattern to Journal 6 or replace existing stitch pattern. If your stitch pattern is too large to fit into one pattern slot in the console, it will be split into multiple stitch patterns.